The weather 12 forecast, Michelle delivering some good news on this Friday. Nice afternoon for a walk outside. Very mild out there, Michelle. Yeah, it's a beautiful afternoon. It's breezy, but it's dry and sunny and going to stay that way for the rest of the daytime today. So let's go ahead and take a look down in Narragansett. A little bit rough out in the waters uh, this noontime. Winds have been busy the last couple of days, and we're still tracking those gusty winds today. East Providence, you can see up at the top of Kettle Point, the camera's shaking a little bit, around a little bit in the winds. They're out of the west-southwest, about 14 miles per hour sustained with some higher gusts. It's 61 degrees though outside so running almost 10 degrees above average so mild but windy leading our three key things it is a mainly dry weekend the exception will be Sunday night into Monday when we're going to start to track that potential for some showers and looking ahead here to Thanksgiving Day we are going to have to keep an eye on another chance for some rainfall in the Wednesday Thursday time frame but the timing of that rain still a little bit up in the air outside right now you're in the feel in the air it's mild in Smithfield at 60 New Bedford's hit the 60 degree mark Upper 50s, Newport and Westerly, and about 58 in Willimantic. There's been some clouds and even a couple of showers to the north of us, but those are steering clear of our area. Our southwest wind and sunny skies will continue for the rest of this afternoon. And here's a closer look at the radar. So for those that are traveling around, maybe grabbing some lunch or running some errands, we do have dry skies and dry roadways. The winds right now gusting over 20 miles per hour at times on the high end. We'll see some gusts 25 to 35 miles per hour in Rhode Island and out towards New Bedford. But as you get further east towards the Cape, there's been some gusts to around 40, even 45 miles per hour. This afternoon, it's breezy, and those temperatures in the lower 60s at 2 o'clock will cool to the upper 50s at 4, and then lower 50s by 6 o'clock in the evening. As far as November evenings go, it's going to be mild. You'll also see that the winds will start to diminish. This is 3 o'clock this afternoon, heading into the evening hours. Peak wind gusts drop down to between about 10 and 20 miles per hour, and then even lighter when you wake up tomorrow morning. It'll be a little breezy on Saturday, but lighter winds in general than what we've seen the last couple of days. So here are those evening temperatures. You'll want a jacket if you're outside, but the temperatures not bad for a November night down at 11 o'clock to around 49 degrees. And those late night lows will cool to between about 40 and 45 under partly cloudy skies. It's a dry night for us. Let's widen out the view once again. I'm tracking a cold front that'll come through Saturday morning. There's not going to be any rain associated with this front, but there will be a cool down as the winds change direction. And so here's the temperatures for today. You can see that mild air all across the eastern United States. And we've squeezed in one more day of it here in southern New England tomorrow, those upper 50s on Saturday. But by Sunday afternoon, we're going to be cooling down to highs in the 40s, about 45 to 50. A small craft advisory in effect on the bay today. We just had our high tide. We've got a low tide at about 6 o'clock in the evening. Wanted to tell you about that rain that's going to be coming in for Sunday night. Notice it's still to the west of us during the day on Sunday. But filling in Sunday night and when you wake up on Monday morning those showers are likely they'll continue at least through the first half of the day on Monday but drying out towards the end of the day and we've got those up and down temperatures expected over the next few days upper 40s Sunday Monday in the upper 50s cool and dry on Tuesday and then watching for that potential for some rainfall Wednesday into Thursday right now it's looking like the highest chance for some wet weather on Thanksgiving would be in the morning